Hey everyone, Kenzie here with Wideners. Today, we'll be doing some myth busting to find out which common ammo calibers will cause a deadbolt lock to fail. We've all heard stories about deadbolts being shot open, but what really happens when you shoot one at close range? The three calibers we'll be using for the testing are 9mm 115 grain full metal jackets, 223 Remington 55 grain full metal jackets, and 12 gauge 9 pellet buckshot. For this test, we'll be measuring the penetration depth rate of failure and the overall effectiveness of each caliber. We have two standard exterior doors that we'll be using for testing. One is a steel door with a fiberglass interior, the other is solid wood. The deadbolts we'll be using are Quickset Security 600 series locks that you can buy at any local hardware store. I'll be shooting the face of the deadbolts with each caliber on the first door to collect the data. Then I'll shoot the same setup on the other door and compare the data. What do you think? Will these common calibers cause the deadbolt locks to fail and the doors to come open? Or will the locks hold strong and this myth be busted? Keep watching the video to find out. Hi everyone, Jigger from Wideners. Before we get into the caliber specific testing, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to see if we can cause the deadbolt to fail with a pellet gun. Why a pellet gun? There's an internet rumor that a series of burglaries were pulled off by a group of teens using a pellet gun to force entry into upscale homes. We consulted with a professional locksmith, and he confirmed that it is a possibility, assuming that the pellet can penetrate the face of the deadbolt and disrupt the tumblers inside of the lock. To test this myth, I'll be shooting the deadbolt with a break-action pellet gun that can reach velocities of up to 1300 feet per second. I'll be using a .177 caliber pellet to try and cause the deadbolt to fail. Let's give it a shot and see if this myth is real or busted. Alright, so after one shot with the pellet gun directly to the faceplate of the deadbolt, we found that it did penetrate, but nothing seemed to affect the internals of the deadbolt to cause it to fail. So we fired two more shots into the deadbolt to see if we could cause it to fail using the pellet gun, and both of them did penetrate the faceplate of the lock, but not, neither of them caused the lock to actually fail. Uh, you could still put a key in it and open it as normal, so I'm going to say myth busted. After shooting 9mm 115 grain full metal jackets at the door, what we found out actually is that the deadbolt didn't come undone, so the door didn't actually open. Now it was a clean shot, um, and the, <laughs> the lock's definitely destroyed, but as far as the door, I think it failed the myth busting test, you're still going to have to kick it open. Uh, but that's this one. So we tried out the 223 Remington 55 grain full metal jackets on the deadbolt. Similar to the 9mm handgun, we actually weren't able to open the door. So the deadbolt was stuck still in the door, uh, however it penetrated the lock and what's really neat is inside it looks like the bullet shaved through the locking pieces um, just like that and exploded out the back of the door. So myth busted with this round as well, we'll see what shotgun does. shot 
the door now with buckshot. We actually had the nine pellet buckshot. So what was interesting is the front of the lock blew off immediately. The actual front of the lock huh, is definitely blown out. The locking mechanism is completely destroyed. So there's no way that you could get a key in there. Uh, what was interesting is on the back, this blew out and the actual locking knob flew off as well. So this is gone. Um, but unfortunately, the door didn't open. You could probably kick it in after that, but the deadbolt was still in there and uh, a myth busted again. what just happened, we shot the 9mm 115 grain full metal jackets, we shot the 223 Remington 55 grain full metal jackets, and the 12 gauge 9 pellet buckshot. All of them failed the mitt. So all of them actually hit the lock, damaged the lock, the deadbolt was still in, and the door didn't come open. So I think this myth is completely busted and Hollywood's got it wrong. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the full article on the Wideners blog.